Hey YouTube, this is Primetime Pokemon. In this video, I'll be opening up a Japanese Cold Flare booster box. This booster box opening is part of my huge Pokemon card opening series I'm doing on YouTube that included nine Japanese booster boxes and nine different sets of Japanese booster packs for a total of 214 booster packs. You'll find a link to that huge Japanese Pokemon card opening playlist in the description of this video. Two weeks ago I opened up the other Boundaries Cross Japanese equivalent Freeze Bolt this week be opening up Cold Flare. As you can see, it has white Kiram on the outside. I purchased this box from Collector's Cash and it was $59.99. Show a quick view of the artwork here and then take the plastic wrap off. And as you can see, this is a first edition box, BW6. So we'll open it up here. A little trouble opening the first booster box. The plastic wrap is really Tight to the box. Let's see if I can get in there a little bit quicker. I was able to here. As you can see in the background there, there's majority of the box that will be opening up in the coming weeks, except for the Double Crisis and then the Freeze Bolt box. Okay, so 20 packs on the inside. There are five cards in each pack. So here's all 20 packs, and I'll have to use the scissors to open them up. But what I'll do is I'll just group a couple of them, shake the cards down just to make sure I don't cut the tops of any of them. Okay. So before I open one, I'll just show a quick view of the artwork. White Kiram, like I said, and then the back looks like this. Okay, first pack here. I do have a list of translations next to me just in case and for some of the trainer cards. So I'll set this aside. Not exactly sure what this is. Maybe it's just an information card on what A-spec cards are. Pulled a couple of those last booster box. Card trick is moving the last card to the second to last position. And the first card here is an older Pokemon, Sand Slash. Next up, there is a Krogunk. Followed by a Skitty. Looks like here is a Dusclops. And finally, a Bicycle Trainer card. Okay, on to the next pack. And I'll do a summary at the end of this video just to summarize all the hollows and ultra rares that I get in the box. Hoping to do a little bit better than how I did in the other Boundaries Cross Japanese Equivalent. So this pack starts off with a Tangela, Squirtle, looks like a Loudred, there's Explode, and finally first holo card of the box is a Scizor. That's one of the first Pokemon I ever got up to level 100. Pokemon Crystal was the first game that I ever played. And Scizor and Steelix, I both try to get up those two to level 100 after the starters. Okay, next pack here starts off with Electabuzz. There is a Dwebble, followed by Ducklet. There's a Soul Rock and a Delcaddy. Okay, next pack. Okay, this pack starts off with a Patrat. There's a Woobat. Scyther. Next up here, Conkledor. And a hollow card of a Ditto. So one of my favorite Pokemon of all time, Ditto. You can also get a Blastoise holo from this set. Those would be the two holo cards I'm hoping for most. Only three different EX cards in this set. Celebi, Keldeo, and White Kyurem. Okay, so here's a Psyduck. Next up here is a Dunsparce. Followed by Timber. Then there's a Lilligant. And first ultra rare of the box 
is a Keldeo EX Full Art. And this is probably my most wanted ultra rare from this set. If you take a look at the bottom right hand corner on this card, you actually see it's a secret rare in the Japanese set. As you can see, 61 of 59. Okay, so I'll set that aside. So, so far I pulled out one secret rare and two hollow cards. Okay, set that aside, move the potential rare card to the back. And this pack starts off with a Joltik. There's a War Turtle. Piplup. Not Piplup, Lillipup. Next up here is a Conkledor, and finally, looks like a Lilligant. Okay, next pack. Okay, this one starts off with a Petalil. There's a Duskull. Watchog. Now there's a girder and a hollow foil card of Stoutland. So the third hollow pull of the box. If I remember correctly, the other Japanese set that I have opened, Freeze Bolt, I pulled out six hollow foil cards and now I'm back to having to cut open some. So make sure and get a good shake to get all the cards down to the bottom so I don't cut any open or cut any of the cards. Well, I'm trying to cut the packs open. Looks like I did a good job not cutting anything other than just the wrapper. Okay, so I'll set the card aside. Okay, this pack starts off with a Sandshrew. Next up here is the Waddle. Next up is Hurtier. There is a Trainer card, which is Ether. And finally, there is a Swana card. Okay, on to the next pack. Okay, so first card here is Numa. There's a Skarmory. Followed by a Wismer, then there's a Soul Rock, and finally a Galvantula. So it's about time to pull another Ultra Rare or potentially an Ace Spec card. First card here is Scyther, Psyduck, Lillipup, Swana. And a Hallfoil card of Tangrowth. So another bit little older card there. Like that quite a bit. A little bit older Pokemon. Of course, they're all from the same set in this box. Okay. This one starts off with a Woobat. There's a Timber. Followed by Loudred. Bicycle Trainer, and an A-Spec card, which is a Crystal Edge. It's not a bad pull right there. Expecting, just like I said, either a Hollow or an A-Spec card, and pulled both of those out in the next two packs. Okay, next pack here. This one starts off with a Squirtle. There's a Dwebble, followed by a Skitty, Krogunk, and an Ether Trainer card. Alright, so this pack does start off with a Swallow. Followed by a Joltik. There's a Watchog. Galvantula. And an ultra rare of 
a white QRM EX. So a very good pull right here. Second, ultra rare in English. This just has the R rarity in Japanese. Let's take a look down here. Okay, so on to the next pack. I'd say I have about six, seven packs left, so a little bit more than halfway through this booster box. And then in two weeks from now, I'll be opening up a Spiral Force booster box. So first card here is a Swadloon. Next up here is a Ducklet. Then there's a Krogunk, followed by an Aspertia City Gym, and... Leaveny is the last card. Okay, now I'm on to the last stack of packs here that I have to cut open. And there are six packs left, so it's pretty good on my estimate from about 30 seconds ago. Okay, have the packs cut open. Looks like I'm going to get two hollow cards and probably one more a spec card out of the remaining six packs so 50 percent of the packs will have something other than just an uncommon card but it looks like here is a herdier there's a sand true electabuzz soul rock oh i was not expecting that at all a celebi ex a third ultra rare of the box the r rarity in japanese again so very good pull right there was not expecting that that's why i was going so fast through the pack was not expecting that at all that's a great pull so it's off on my prediction that's all right rather get an ex card any day than just a hollow card or an a spec card Okay, this pack starts off with a Tangela. There's a Dunsparce. Followed by a Petalil. There's an Ether Trainer card. And a Holofoil card of, oh there it is, a Blastoise Hollow. So in both Japanese equivalents of Boundaries Cross, I pulled out a Charizard and a Blastoise. So the two hollow cards I was hoping for most, I did pull out of each box. Alright, on to the next pack. Three more packs left after this one. Okay, so this one starts off with a Duskull. There's a War Turtle. Patrat. Next up here is a girder and finally a swana okay this pack starts off with sand slash there's a numal skarmory toxicroak and a hollow foil card of Electivire. So another very good hollow pull right there. So that does make six hollow cards out of this box. And I can show all of them again right at the end. So I'm assuming I probably won't get anything out of these last two packs, but who knows? I've been wrong so far out of this box. So we have Scyther. Next up here, there's a Wismer. Followed by Squirtle. Then there's a Camerupt. And finally, it looks like a Lilligant card. Last pack here of this Cold Flare booster box. Again, this is part of my huge Japanese Pokemon card opening series I'm currently doing on YouTube. You'll find a link to that playlist in the description of this video. Last pack starts off with Sandshrew. There is a Skitty, Tangela, Dusclops, and finally, a Delcaddy. So overall, I would say this box is a little bit better than the Freeze Bolt box that I opened up a couple of weeks ago. To summarize, I did pull out 10 total A-Spec, Hollow, and EX cards. I can show the one A-Spec card that I pulled out, Crystal Edge. Pulled out three EX cards, 
Very surprised to pull three out. I've not pulled a secret rare, an ultra rare UR rarity out of any of the Japanese boxes so far, but Celebi EX, a white Kirim EX, and then this is my favorite card of the box, a Keldeo EX full art. And then I'll show the six hollow cards that I pulled out, Blastoise being my favorite, but did like quite a few of them. So first one here is Ditto. This is the last one that I pulled out. There's a Blastoise, Tangrowth, Stoutland, Ditto, second favorite there. And the first one I pulled out was a Scizor. So definitely some good pulls out of this Cold Flare booster box. Thanks everyone for watching. Make sure before you go to check out all the links in the description of this video, including links to my blog, Facebook, and Twitter pages. And stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.